What is up guys? What's going on? We're here, we're in Dick's. Had to come pick some stuff up. First things first, I guess. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Yak Pack Outdoors. I'm your host, TJ. Please drop a comment. Should I try a challenge with this lure? Should I try to do a challenge with the baby turtle lure? You guys let me know what you think. If you say yes to that, I will come back, I will buy it, and I will do a challenge with it. And uh, hopefully I'll catch like a 12, 13, 14 pounder or something like that. Just kidding. But seriously, on a serious note, if you guys want me to do a challenge with this, let me know in the comments right now. I will come back, I'll pick it up and do it. But really quick trip to uh, Dick's here, filmed another video that I'm sure you've probably seen already. And if you haven't, uh, I will link that right up here and I will link it in the description as well. Best combos, best rod and reel combos under hundred bucks. Just got done filming that video. Uh, highly recommend it to you guys, especially for everybody fishing on a budget because like myself, I'm getting the budget lures right here. But anyways, look, we're gonna get back to the truck. We're gonna go fishing. I literally spent way too much time in dicks just now. Like it took me forever to film the first video. Whew. Anyways, just met up with a guy uh, that actually is a friend of the guy that I went shark fishing with a couple weeks ago. Pretty cool little story. It's kind of crazy if you think about it, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, we got time change. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. If you didn't know, welcome to welcome to the world. Welcome to reality. Time change. So we have plus one more hour of daylight, which is a good thing, baby. It's a good thing. I mean, just fixing to be summer, fixing to be uh, top water season. We're going to head out now. I think I've located the spot that I want to go try. Clown knife fish, peacock bass, largemouth, cichlids, maybe all kinds of cool stuff there. And we will. It is always so dark when I get in my truck. Anyways, let me get all this put away with. And we will see you guys at the spot. Woo, we made it. We have made it. Not really what I expected. I mean, it's, it's, this place is really, really open. So I'm in basically the middle of two of the biggest West Palm Beach canals right now, um, or Palm Beach County canals, whatever you want to call them. They are massive and they stretch for I mean, miles and miles. I mean, it's endless, guys. You could put a boat in here with a 250 on it and full blast, and you could just go and go and go. So anyways, I'm just going to basically walk up and down the bank right here really quick. I, I, the, the reason I chose this place is I'm looking for something like this to put my kayak in. I kind of wanted to scope it out before I brought all my kayak, you know, my kayak, all the gear, before I brought it here and put it in. Just from the initial looks of it, it looks like it would be really easy. There's actually a boat ramp, like entrance or access, like on the other side of the road right there. So uh, this will be a place that I come put the kayak in and just paddle around for miles and miles. Uh, the wind doesn't look like it affects this too much, which is a huge plus in my kayak. But anyways, guys, got the GoPro strapped on. Let's get to fishing. All right, what are we doing? Nope, not this one. This is for a challenge video. Be on the lookout for that, guys. It's gonna be a good one. Soft plastics, spinner baits. All right, we're gonna try these, and then, maybe here in a little bit, maybe gonna try to toss this frog around and see what we can get. Let me untangle this and then uh, get out here on this water. I'm, I'm excited, guys. All right, let's do this, boys. So, what we don't want to happen What we don't want to happen is to walk up on a, a big, huge aggulator. That is not, not what we want. Let me just see how this, I have to adjust this a little bit. Maybe, ah, that should be good. Let's just see. Any alligator prints? A little bit here and there. Just give it a whirl. So I actually switched the reels up on this, uh, my spinner bait slash like lipless crank bait slash chatter bait rod, the favorite defender rod, 7.4, medium heavy, moderate fast. Um, I switched the reels. I was using a 7.3 to one concept A, but I switched it to the 6.6 because if you're using a bait like that, I kinda would rather have a slower reel. And this, I put my 7.3 on this one. Still haven't relined it yet. I keep telling you guys I'm gonna do that and I just keep forgetting to. But the reason I put the 7.3 on here is because it's my soft plastic stick. And if I hook something, you know, obviously on soft plastic, bed fishing, whatever the case may be, uh, I wanna be able to reel that in as fast as I possibly can. All right guys, we got a little bit of daylight left. I'm gonna get this in. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to go down to this spot this dude was telling me about. Try to see what's down there. That way, we can have a couple more kayak fishing locations. He said there's a peacock, clown knife, and, and pretty decent sized largemouth over here where, where we're about to head to. 
Hopefully we can get there before we got the sun going completely down. Uh, let's make a move. New new spot. Who this? Is it a trail? Yeah, it's a trail. Okay, it's a trail. Yo, this, this, this is my kind of fishing right here. Check this out. Just want to keep an eye out for them gators or snakes. Gators or snakes, doesn't matter. Either way. Wow, look at this, guys. This is crazy. Really cool little spot. So there's peacock in here. There's clown knife in here. There's bass in here. So there's other kinds of fish. Oh, guys, this would be a killer kayak spot. I don't even care if I catch a fish. This is really cool, like, experience in general, finding a spot like this. I think we stuck one, guys. We did. Oh, he spit it. What the? F oh, he spit it. It literally hit the water. It hit the water, and he's... Oh, man. I knew it, too. I was like, I was like, there will be a fish right there. I knew there was, man. That's exactly why I cast it right there. I don't know how to get access in here with a kayak though. I know it would be really cool to do. Really like low key, want to see a gator, like obviously at a distance. So I didn't really do a question of the day today as of yet, but if you want to do one, what would you guys throw if you were in a spot like this? Like just look, I'm gonna, just look at what you see on the GoPro. What would you guys be throwing? Down there in the comments, let me know what you guys would be throwing right now. I always, I always love when you guys, you know, Put comments you say whatever you guys say like i love that kind of stuff because like i'm a firm believer in you can learn anything from anybody at any given time this is just a hypothetical example you know there there could be something that you yourself could probably teach kevin van dam about fishing that he didn't know and that's you know that's just an example but never discredit anyone because of the knowledge you think they may or may not have never discredit anyone because you never know that you know you learn anything from anybody but I always love reading your guys' comments and replying to them the best I can. And uh, you guys always, sometimes you guys crack me up. And then a lot of times you guys are dropping like some very useful knowledge down there in the comments. And and uh, when you guys talk about, hey, you know, I, this is what I, you know, using certain baits, certain fishing line, lures, uh, rods, reels, whatever. I love hearing that kind of stuff because it's like, hey, you know, I want to go try that stuff out. If I get down here to this point, take a couple casts and I'll get hit on this spinner bait, then I'm going to switch it to that six cents lipless guys i lost my six cents lipless again the other day i swear i'm the world's worst about losing my favorite six cents baits and it only happens with those like it only happens with those quake 70s or uh thud 70s whatever like it only happens with those and it makes me so mad wow that's really cool that is really cool i'm gonna take this home to bella that is awesome she'll love that yep all right we're gonna switch it up I'll fish this side until I get back to the bag, but we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna start fishing that lipless. All right, we've got our six cents tied on. Let me tell you something, guys, really quick. I'm not partnered with six cents or anything like that. Uh, it'd be cool if I was, but uh, these are the sharpest hooks that come standard, that come stock on any kind of crankbait I've ever fished. And trust me when I say I find that out every single time that I tie one on, because I always get hooked. These things are sharp, guys, super, super sharp. First catch of the day turns out to be a chicken leg. I'm just kidding, what is this? It is a something, I don't know. That's, I don't want nothing to do with it though. At least the, uh, I'm just gonna pretend, okay guys? I'm just gonna pretend, let me pretend. Skunk's out of the boat. Skunk is out of the boat. Low key though for real, I thought, thought I had something. Ooh, that's a bite. That's a good bite. That's a good bite. I don't know what it is, but is it a largey? It is a largey. Oh, there he is. Well, you were mouth hooked and then you came up and then got side hooked. Okay. All right. Two casts back to back. We caught this little dude and whatever that thing is. I don't know. We're on him, boys. We found a school. Freaking sweet. Let's get him back. See if we can get something in this general area. Bigger bite. Hooked up. Okay, well, we got us a, we got us a tree pounder. 
Look at this. That is a new PB right here. Doubled up too. Look, front and the back hook. Who else do you know doubles up like that? So far, the two with the most weight have been uh, made of wood. Not necessarily the uh, targeted species, but hey, you know, whatever we're catching, whatever works. Three for three, baby. Solid hook set too. Look at that, right in the top of lip. That is what it's all about right there, guys. That's a good one. Look at the size on that one. Post spawn though, for sure. She's long, she ain't got a belly on her though. Let's get her back. All right, well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna walk up here a little bit. We're gonna try to hit this other open body of water. We're gonna call it quits after that. Gotta head home, cooking some hamburgers on the grill. Actually did a video a while back. Question of the day was what kind of seasoning do you guys like to use for your hamburgers? That's an odd question, not really fishing related, but I wanted to ask you guys that. And you guys came up with some really, really good stuff. So my wife actually went and bought some kind of seasoning. And we're gonna use that tonight. So thank you. I'll have to find your comment and your name, whoever suggested it. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I told my wife about it, showed her the comments. She went and picked it up. So thank you to whoever that was. Uh, I'm gonna try to find your name and your comment and put it in the next video. Oh, guys, I thought I done had a big one. Oh, dude. Casey, I just lost another freaking six cents. God, it makes me so mad. I swear, I'm the world's worst about losing my favorite six cents baits. Dude, I've lost like $50 worth of those things in the past week. Oh, maybe that's my sign, guys. Everything happens for a reason, right? Maybe that's my sign to leave. But beautiful place. Caught one fish, caught a bunch of tree pounders. Some actually some quality tree pounders at that. That last one I caught, she was long. She was absolutely long. She's a, she's a keeper for sure. But uh, I'll be back in this spot, guys, no doubt for sure. Uh, I, I, this is where I would put my kayak in at. There's a little ramp right here. Just put part my truck there and back it down on in. But man, look at this place, guys. It's beautiful. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, that's gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to thumb punch. This truck's red for a reason, right? Thumb punch that uh, bright red subscribe button, okay? Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the fishing outing, uh, the little fishing adventure today. I had a blast, came out further than I've ever came out before. It was really cool. Found a good spot to put my kayak in for this big canal behind me that, guys, this canal stretches. Like, I, I can't even begin to explain how far these, these canals go and they connect all these different bodies of water. Like, there's all these exotic fish in here. I mean, if I go a little further that way, then I can uh, I can catch some uh, peacock bass. But anyways, thank you again for watching, guys. Greatly appreciate all of you. I love all you guys. Catch y'all next time.